Hi my YouTube lovers! Today I'm going to show you how to make some very, very cute, inexpensive shoes. Everything costs me five bucks or less, truly. You just need paint, sponges, acrylic uh, seether, and that should do the trick. But these are the shoes I'm going to show you how to make. Bam! Look at these babies. Front, back, and these are super cute. And I made these because I saw some shoes online, and I really, really like them. But they're like $300, $500. Ain't nobody got time for that or that type of money. But if you do, you can go to the link around here. Well, I'll, not the link. I'll put the page name right here where my palm is. As you can see, my palm. <laughs> but yeah, so you could go click on her link. Uh, it's called These Pink Lips, if you know what she means. And she's not talking about the lips right here, boo-boo. No, pussy! <laughs> is what she's talking about. That's what the, basically her brand is. You'll just have to go to her page. She sells hats, heels, shoes, sneakers. She even has sneakers for men that she did for her boyfriend, but I don't know if she put it on her webpage. She has, yeah, clothing, everything. Just go check out her page. All right, see you in the tutorial. So first things first, you're going to need a pair of shoes, any color. It doesn't really matter. I got two uh, black shoes there in my hands. Next, you're going to need some paint. I got some blue, as you can see. Well, kind of greenish blue. White. Some neon yellow. black any other color you want I didn't actually use all them colors some tape some scissors to cut your tape with and some sponges and acrylic a sealer and some alcohol as you can see in my hand now I'm going to just clean my shoe take it and put it in just a napkin and then clean my shoe very thoroughly as you're about to watch me do. I wanted to show you this nice and slow because some people don't know how to clean. And you got to be very careful when you clean because it could rip your shoe. So I'm just going to continue to clean it. And then now I'm going to take my tape and open it. As you can see, it's such a struggle to open tape nowadays. It's like a struggle. It took me almost like 15 minutes just to get the tape open. Thank God I got it open. So I'm just peeling it so I can find what the thing is. And now I'm just going to put a, like a band, like the uh, arch over my shoe, as you can see me doing. Make an arch over my shoe. Nice and neat. And now I'm going to just show you what I did. I taped the bottom a zigzag stitch. I don't know if you could really see that. And in the back, I just made striped lines. Going down, now I'm going to just take my neon paint, as you can see. It's really good for you, apparently. And some sponges, I'm going to paint my shoe. You need Oh yeah, I forgot you need paper plate. Now I'm going to take my beautiful uh, painting tool, dab it into the paint. As you can see, just dab a little. It's taking me a while, you know, I'm kind of slow. Stick it to the shoe, and then you're just gonna paint it on. This technique doesn't work because that paint brush that I was using sucked. So I changed my method and I used a cut up sponge and then I just dabbed it on there. So I'm gonna just fast forward this part for you. Aren't you glad I fast forward? So now I'm going to take my sponge and then some white paint and we're going to just dab it on the front of the shoe as you can see me doing right there. You're just going to dab it in little spots. Make sure you do this precise and very slow so it won't get messed up and paint won't get everywhere and that's how you dab it. And now I'm just going to take one of my longer brushes. And I'm going to take some blue paint and just paint on the shoe, as you can see me doing. Just paint. You could dab it. 
as you did to the front of the shoe. That's the best method I found. And there you go. That's the first coat for each thing. And now this is the finished product of my shoe. I didn't feel like I should show you everything. I felt like it was very tedious to show you every inch of me taking the paint. So now I'm going to just take off the tape of my shoe. As you can see, we're revealing the true colors of the masterpiece. Oh, isn't that beautiful? And the line is perfectly straight. I told you I changed my colors because I had to take off the old paint because it wasn't sticking because of the paintbrush I was using. So remember, guys, use a sponge. A sponge! Now time for me to fast forward because I know you don't want to sit here and watch me take off all the tape on my shoes. So let's fast forward that baby. done taking off the tape so this is how the shoe completely looks with all the tape off that's the back as you can see the stripes and the beautiful neon in the back with a little pop of pink places the side the front of the shoe as you can see the zigzags going on very beautiful I think and these are both of the pairs together as you can see, I'm trying to move, so let's make sure you can see the side-by-side -side comparison. And I hope you guys like them. The only thing left for us to do is take your acrylic paint sealer, clear acrylic sealer, as you can see. We got that from Walmart, but I'm sure they have other ones. Mine's was matted, and then now you're just going to spray it six inches away from your shoe. And it only takes about like 15 seconds to dry. So make sure you spray it really good. Get a good coating on there. So your paint doesn't uh, come off or scratch or whatever. And make sure when you do this, you don't do it too hard. Cause if you, and if you touch the shoe, the paint will become wet again. So you got to make sure you dry it. Okay, and that's about it. And I hope you like them. Oh my god, shit. 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 Oh my god, shit. 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 Oh my god, shit. Shit. These shoes rule.